kind of detox is this? You can't drink coffee. <laughs> this is Rensat. <laughs> a human gets up, he drinks coffee. Human race doesn't start the day with coffee. I don't know which race you belong, <laughs> but I belong to that human race who gets up and drinks coffee. You signed for this. No, I'm signing out. <laughs> and I don't want my money back. <laughs> it's all right with me. What? What? Chinju, what? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome and welcome to my channel. We are doing the part two of 12 days movie detox. If you're not watch the part one you can watch here but i can give you a summary of what's in part one so in part one um i spoke about why we are doing this why i'm doing this 12 days movie slim detox and how it's done and also um what i'm trying to get from this 12 days slim smoothie detox so i've just spoke about all of those things in this video we are going to watch um, my experience <laughs> of this 12 days and how i felt let's get started Day one. So as per the PDF, uh, as per the plan, they start the day really early, around 6.45. And then you have your lemon water the first thing. And after that, you have your smoothie. I didn't start my day early. And I don't think so. I can, I can start my day at 6.45. Anyway. chocolate protein so yeah I've just taken its color and the consistency is super thick oh my god Oops. yes no. not better it's cold I have problem with cold drinks. I cannot drink very cold. Because of frozen, right? Everything is frozen. It's not mango season and for this recipe we have to add mangoes and also berries. Mixed berries, all those things I get in frozen section only. And also they didn't in the recipe they're not added for coconut water, but they said you can add stevia. I didn't want it to add stevia, coconut water is sweet, so it's good. I've made a lot of modification. It's not exactly the recipe I feel. And also they just said you have to add flax seeds to spoon. I added hemp seed as well. So yeah, this is like here and there a few modifications I've done. It's the OCD brain. Taste wise, but for sure, I can't have this cold. Akash was planning to make a salad for lunch. So I was just chopping my juice for him while he was chopping. We had carrot and this dip. So that was like a small snack because I was so hungry. Now he has made this yummy salad look at that oh my goodness it has cherry tomatoes tomato tomato eggs potato avocado and the dip the spring onion dip I've just given that i'm hungry so far it's going good because i've been skipping breakfast for a very long time so the smoothie actually i had a breakfast i'm happy so yeah i'm just gonna have this and also i've been sipping this Herbal tea, which is for metabolism and revive. It's Of our smoothie slim detox we have a natural light <laughs> on our face which is good okay I want to talk about yesterday day one 
It was hard. Trust me, it was hard. Every time I was feeling like Stefan Salvador. I'm not sad. I'm freaking hungry. I'm hungry all the time. All I can think about is food. I want to eat noodles. I want to eat brownie. I want to eat um, pulao. I want to eat biryani. I want to eat fish fry. I want to eat potatoes. This is exactly what I was feeling. And my friend was like, stop thinking about food. It was that worst, I would say. Because I've been eating all the time. I'm a person who eats all the time. So it was really hard for me. Um, other than that, how I was feeling in terms of mood, I was slightly irritated, of course. It's all expected as per the plan. And also this area, not eyebrows, not forehead. This area was aching. I don't know. It's maybe I'm hungry. I don't know. <laughs> and also I was tired because I want to eat food. I was not getting food, so I was feeling tired as well. Anyway. So that's yesterday, but I did it well. Day two, I made smoothie for me now uh, and I have made it for night also. Okay, today is an exciting day I'm going to have. Today I'm having an audio launch for my movie, for my Tamil movie. Uh, okay, that's there. And evening I have a premiere. So it's a lot of socializing and we're gonna meet people, talk to people, drinks and food and all those things. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Okay, <clears throat> day three of the detox. Yesterday I stayed in my friend's place, so morning I didn't go home to <laughs> prepare smoothie. It's my friend. Anyway, I'm just having two smoothie, one meal in a day. And today I had, uh, this is what I had in the morning. It was very nice. No meat in it, of course, lactose free, gluten free and all of those things. So, all good. Today, it is one meal one smoothie that's what i'm doing today can't be I'm, I'm trying but it's not practically possible for me at this point of time i feel i should have started on monday anyway because i had meal in the morning i didn't have headache or i'm not sure if i'm getting used to i had a lot of energy i already started seeing good changes i had good energy today and also no headache today and uh, i did feel my stomach was slightly flat I was bloated. No, I was not bloated. Sometimes even when I don't have food, I feel bloated. I'm just trying and I'm struggling. That's day three. Okay, updates for day four and day five. Day four, I was strict on food. I had one salad and two smoothie. Went all good. I didn't have a lot of snacks actually because I was outside. I didn't have time to have snack or I didn't have snacks with me. So I was starving. <laughs> Very tired. I was so tired, so tired that I couldn't speak. I was with my friend in train and I was just quiet. I couldn't respond to her because I was feeling so tired. That's something which I felt on day. And day of today, oh my god. It was, it was a team lunch today at office so I couldn't avoid. So I just had a little bit of uh, biryani rice and a little bit of meat. I was thinking I should not have meat during the detox but it was very little. Just like one piece I had. But I did get a salad. It was a grain and a brown rice salad. It had chickpeas, it had capsicum, what else it had, tomatoes, that's it. But I felt like bloated after having that. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, uh, I think it's close to like two weeks. I'm just sitting down to do the end part of this. Okay, I'll try to make it really short because I have so many things to talk about. First few days was really hard, but after day six, it just got into a routine i was feeling comfortable doing it i did see good changes so i just want to keep doing it and after 12 days i just felt like no i want to keep doing but then this craving oh my god i can't control this this craving for food anyway so i just jumped back to normal routine but yeah so i was thinking if i'm wanting to do this detox if someone has done this i thought i'll ask these four questions to them so I thought maybe um, we can just answer those four questions. The first question what I had is, will you recommend and why? If I will recommend this smoothie slim detox, yes, of course, yes, yes, I will 100% recommend. Uh, if you'll ask why, mm. I was just into this uh, unhealthy relationship with food. I wanted to get into healthy eating. Then as we like this brunch, uh, we have this brunch on Tuesday. Uh, we have this team dinner on Wednesday. Uh, we have this party on Friday. Let me start out with that. I was just keeping on like skipping and skipping I was like this is the time so I think now uh, after this I just feel like I'm back to track 
and back on track back to track back on track I feel like, okay, now I have a good relationship with food. If I have to have some junk or if you have some party coming up, I'll be very conscious of what I'm eating and also the quantity. I was just like filling my stomach because I think I was stress eating. <laughs> I was just filling my stomach. Now I feel like something shook me and I feel good. So there are multiple reasons. This is one of the reasons. The other reason is I did see a few changes. So yeah. Second question is, is this ebook paid? version yeah i have it in the link you have to pay for this ebook sorry that's why i didn't add a lot of recipes and the third one did i see any changes of course i did see a lot of changes in my body and not just in body even in um like mentally i just felt like i was back on track and i did see good energy yes that is the only reason why i started this i was just feeling like but I felt like there was a good energy and also there was no bloating. When I was on smoothie detox, trust me, I just felt like my body is light. When you have this oily item, like cheesy item, you know, you just feel like something heavy. I don't know, I feel it. I just felt like I was like in air because my I was having enough nutrients for me to function. But at the same time, I was just feeling so light. Oh God, talking about this, I feel like I should again start. Anyway, so these are the good changes I did see. Uh, will you do it again? I'll do it again. 100% if I feel like I'm going out of track. For sure, I'll do it. Cool. If you have stayed for this long, I have something to tell you. Okay. A complete nutrient plate should look something like this. We have talked about this in our channel before. So if you are someone who are looking to have a healthy food or want to lose weight or stay fit for eating healthy in long run for your well-being, for your nutrients for your mind for your body for your health i think um, i would highly recommend this style because doing this smoothie detox i just feel like yeah i think everyone should do this so what i would recommend and a tip from me is a nutritious plate should look something like this which should have a protein a carb and fats healthy fats and a good amount of greens and nutrients so if you have to make a smoothie like this it's easier okay instead of um, like protein you can add some protein powder and whatever seasonal fruits you have you can add the seasonal fruit to it it doesn't matter what it is you can just add a seasonal fruit to it and then a good fat you can just have flax seeds hemp seeds chia seeds there's a lot of nuts and seeds which are a good source of fats and also I've seen some people um, adding coconut milk coconut oil to smoothie it's a amazing good fat and um, you can add spinach, kale or something for the greens. This complete will make a good, nutritious, healthy smoothie. So if you can just have that in the morning and dinner and lunch, you can have some rice or chapati or something which is very light with some veggies. Perfect. I think that's a very nice way of treating your body and also reducing weight. So this is something which I thought Anytime I just go out of track, I think I'll do this for a few days so that I'm back on track and then I just eat everything in moderation. Cool. So I don't want to make this video more longer than this. This is something which I learned and I thought I'll share with you. You don't need a fancy things to do yourself. It's just a small step. It's going to help you do things. And also there's a lot of smoothie recipes online which is going to help you really well. So if you just stay connected with me on Instagram, I just keep all those things in instagram instagram stories and also i just post uh, some recipes which uh, helps me so you can just follow all those things on instagram stay connected uh, so this is a community where i'm trying to build for everyone where we can just share and get inspired motivated all those things it's a um, long-term goal so we'll see how we go so please subscribe stay connected and thank you so much for staying this long it means a lot See you and...